So what's been really helping me with my mental health? I think I've been like the most stable I've ever been um, in a while especially just this year in general even though it just started and I think it's because I've been journaling and it's just really helped me this is my journal how cute so what I try to do the most is to write down things that I'm grateful for it could be really like simple things I feel like this is good for you to be more grounded and appreciate things in your life you know sometimes we don't realize that the things that we have now is something that we once wished for so right now I have like certain things that I'm grateful for like my apartment like I'm so grateful for this this is my dream apartment I've been dreaming about living in a place like this for so long and living in my dream place I'm grateful for my dog he's so naughty sometimes he destroys my stuff but I've literally been wanting to get a dog for years for so long but I just like never did it because I feel like I was never prepared yeah um, I know that sometimes you just want to get a pet, but please really, really think about it, really think about the responsibility. Like, I know so many people that just go out and get a pet because they think they want one and then give up the pet after a couple months or a year because they just can't handle the responsibility. Especially if you get a puppy, like they didn't expect how much work you actually have to put in into taking care of the puppy and then they give away the animals and it's just really painful so this is something that i've been thinking about for years and i was really making sure that i am able to do it right now that's when i got my dog so i'm grateful for my dog and just like it's really simple things like i'm grateful for being able to stay at home today or something yeah i just like write down like any random things that I feel grateful for that day and I try to do this as often as possible and then I also um, write down like things I want to manifest so the way that you do it is think about your dream life think about what you want like whatever things that you want and you write it down in present tense like you already have it so let's say if you want to if you want to live at the beach I know because I want to live at the beach, but if you want to like live at the beach, don't write down like I'm gonna live at the beach one day. You have to write down in present tense. So I'm um, like, I am living at the beach, you know, kind of like that in present tense. And then feel the emotion. Really imagine if that really happened, how would you feel? Feel it and then detach. This is really important because if you don't detach from your desires like the things that you want you will always have this feeling of wanting it and it's not gonna work because if you already have it then you wouldn't feel like you're wanting it you know what I mean so you have to feel like you have it you have to detach from it forget write it down forget about it that's one thing why I like this method because sometimes if you're visualizing or you're thinking about things it's always in your brain but I feel like when I write it down and put it in paper and put it somewhere I feel like I detach from it kind of just forget about the things that I write down and then when I um, read back about it I'm like oh my god so many things came true like I didn't even remember writing about this or wanting this so it's really cool and also I've been doing this thing where uh, I go on Pinterest and then I look up like um, journal prompts it's kind of overwhelming but I've been doing this kind of like um, discovering yourself kind of thing and then I wrote down like a bunch of these really difficult questions that like help you kind of 
knowing yourself better so i got these um questions like what does my ideal day look like where would i love to live something i'd love to do more in my daily life how do i define success and how will i know when i reach it what seems to be missing in my life and how can i get it um, I feel happiest about myself when and then what would I do if I have the amount of money that I want right now so yeah these questions will make you think about things so I've been neglecting answering them I'm also doing this um, one sentence a day where yeah you just write one sentence a day that can like help me remember this day in the future I guess on the 14th of February I wrote today I feel frustrated with my work and i'm okay with it i also have a bucket list for 2021 and then i have just like an overall life bucket list To the grocery store right now so this is what i'm wearing just have these comfy stretchy pants this top i have this super cute flower cardigan just to make it a little bit more casual <laughs> There are stuff that has been in there for a while and has definitely expired. Okay. You can probably just throw them all out except that one. be a really boring meal.
Thank you.